topic, paedophilia. Hey, uh, what's the big deal about it? As you'll know if you watch this show, it's not a big deal to the corrupt constabularies in towns up and down the spine of England. And it's not a big deal at the Mermaids Transgender Children's Charity, where one of their trustees, Dr. Jacob Breslow, uh, turns out to have given a speech to a paedophile dignity group. And that's to say the group Before You Act wants paedophiles to have the right to live, quote, in truth and dignity. That's... Uh, Dr. Breslow there. He has a most fascinating uh, bio on the faculty pages of the London School of Economics website. One of his interests is listed as being, quote, the queer life of children's desire, uh, which is, uh, is interesting. Doesn't seem quite to uh, have a lot to do with what his official job position is over there. But I don't want to get into any more trouble uh, with Ofcom than I already am. So I should add, of course, that paedophilia is absolutely nothing to do with advocating the mutilation of children's bodies by chopping off girls' breasts and rendering them sterile. They're two quite different things. One abuses children who cannot give informed consent to sex, and the other abuses children who cannot give informed consent to bodily experimentation. They're two quite separate things. Our pal and yours, Leilani Dowding, is here. What do you make of this, Leilani? Mark, there is such a sinister agenda going on. So last week, mermaids actually... Um, got investigated because they were giving ch uh, chest binders um, to young girls mm. against parental uh, consent. So that's obviously, as it says, they bind their chest so their breasts don't show because um, they think they want to be young boys. And then, of course, mm. um, this, this came up this week about Dr. Jacob Breslow. Now, there's definitely an agenda going on here because Gays Against Groomers, which is an American coalition um, of gay yep. people against... Um, it, they, they, PayPal have called it a transgender group and banned them at the same... Uh, um, sorry, an anti-transphobic... Uh, yep. Anti-trans... Transphobic group right. um, and banned them at That's the same right. time as um, the Free Speech Union, Toby Young, and us for yeah. them. They all got banned at the same time. Now, look at the name Gays Against Groomers. They're mm. not transphobic. They're simply saying stop um, pushing Lupron, which is used to chemically castrate sex offenders, onto yeah. children as a. Um, uh, a puberty blocker. So, you know, that's right. what they're saying. They're saying, and they, and then they talk about all these uh, 14, 15 year old girls on um, social media showing their mastectomy scars. Now, you've seen it, you've brought it up yeah, before. Oh, yeah. This is what's going on. Uh, this is what's on social media. Um, and, you know, we've seen the Tavistock Clinic closed down. And last mm. week, I actually went to a premiere um, called No Turning Back about the Tavistock Clinic, um, and the, I spoke to the director, and I said to the director, you know, what inspired you to make this? Why, you, know, what, you know, why did you want to do this? You usually make documentaries about motor cars. And she said, my 12-year-old son came back from school and said during sex education, he was told that he could be born in the wrong body. Now, she said mm. that as a parent, she was mortified that this is what's going on in school. And a lot of people don't know. I, I, I spoke to my parents about it and my sister, and they had no clue that this goes on. And, and unless, you, you know, you've got a really strong relationship with your child, you would probably not know this either. So yeah. there is definitely yeah. a sinister agenda going on, and it's all kind of linked together. Um, you know, the, the gays against groomers, the anti-pedophile group, is getting called yeah. transphobic um, and against transgender people for speaking out, in, you know, for children. Um, and then you've got, you've mentioned California and Gavin Newsom, and I lived there 17 years. Um, California courts have now um, allowed uh, custody, of, of taken custody of minors that want to transition whose parents won't allow them. And the Victorian government right. is also going to allow gender transition without parental consent. So there's a lot here to unravel. 
um, and it's all kinds of linked, and I probably didn't put it together very well, but there's a lot going on within this. 